Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Prey 2017. Hey, so this is episode two and uh, we are still in the Neuromod division. I believe I'm more or less out of the prologue sequence and uh, yeah, things are beginning to escalate. I've learned that uh, I, Morgan Yu, have been part of a interesting experiment involving my older brother, Alex. Alex is uh, the mastermind of this, this experiment and things do appear to have gone wrong. We have met the mimics those uh, small black gooey things that uh, tend to uh, multiply and uh, when they attack you they uh, tend to uh, suck the life right out of your body and turn you into a desiccated husk. Fun stuff. I'm trying to get my bearings now. It's been like a week since I played the game. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So we have an email here from uh, Jovan Gravelovic. Next week's test. From Sylvain Bellamy to Jovan Gravelovic. Jovan, we'll need the room updated to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Room A, area of effect. Room B, copycat. Room C, spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. Sylvain Bellamy. A note about this morning from Alex Yu to Neuromod Division. All. I know this morning's incident has, has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Alex Yu. Uh, excuse me, I think I did read this exact email on the last episode. But it's good to get myself refreshed. It's been a week of real time. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bellamy had his head turn into uh, a mummified skull or something. Uh, so I don't think he's going to make it. Urgent. From Marco Simmons to Jovan. Oh, we have a... The Corpus Vanishes. New objective. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Search for Bellamy's corpse and trauma center. Lobby. Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the keycard to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Marco Simmons. <laughs> Me and my trusty wrench. Okay. Yeah, we we just found out recently that uh, I'm a, I'm a guinea pig. But for what purpose? I'm trying to find out. Oh. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card, finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. It's been a while since I played an immersive sim, and I suppose Prey counts as an immersive sim from what I've seen so far. Uh huh. It's just. Hacking one required, okay. I am not a hacker yet.
Oops. I'm just messing around with everything. Alice. There's nothing inside the cabinet. But your computer. One email. Simulation question from Marco Simmons to Alice Aiken. Hey Alice, I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's a nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible, for now, to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Use are dedicated to their science is all I can say. Hit me up for lunch later, Simmons. Hmm. I was hoping to get a password from somewhere. This, this is uh, Dr. Bellamy's office. He's sure to have uh, something important here. Oh. That was a mimic scare. The mimics can be anywhere. I should be careful because uh, I only have 50 health. Oh. Key card. There we go. Personality drift results from uh, Zhao Long Heng to Sylvain Bellamy, Dr. Bellamy. Here are the results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. Most recent test has pasted below for reference. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Answer new. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Calm. It was worth it. Oh, are these my answers? Yeah, these are my answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are all my answers. When I was going through the uh, questions. Daily tests from Evelyn McCarthy to Sylvain Bellamy. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod insulation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely, Evelyn. Have my people been coming to you? From Matthias Cole to Swain Bellamy. Sill, yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there has definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. Is actually much worse for the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress here, but I'm concerned these are not isolated incidents. I'm going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting. Okay. Oh, we got a used cigar. I'll take that. Dwarf Red Cosmos. Oh, cool. Would not have been able to harvest it if I didn't break the glass. Take some more. Oh. Jeez. How to heal again. Um, I think I can go into my other menu. Yeah. I 
totally forgot how to do a shortcut. This, this is much more awkward. As long as the game pauses when I bring this menu up, then I'm good. Well, that didn't heal me that much, did it? I can always take their organs. That's it. Oh, I thought I was... I. Uh, defeated two of them, but there's just the remains of one. Uh. I thought I could open this. No? I thought I saw a prompt that I could open the cabinet. Open the case. Whatever. Stand-up notes. Test for uh, March 24th. We order tests. Lucia on observation. See Bellamy. Flammable day test cancelled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before test. Again. Nemix really. Oh my god. They go through walls and stuff too. Uh, they're really annoying. Yeah, it's really just to kill them ASAP because they uh, can juke through walls. Oh, what's this? Oh, it got one hit point back. That's great. Do a quick save. Get a real weapon. Skill record analysis. The Noetic Field. Excerpt from the Noetic Field, Chapter 1 by Dr. Deo. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates the conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be impossible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers, and more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. There's a mimic. I see a health bar. Hit him. Jeez. More health. Cures fear. I eat some uh, tomato jerky. I'll save the sparkling wine for later. Oh, it has some cold nuts and green tea. How's that?
Auto sort, please. Great. The same. I hope that one wrench would be stronger. Blue canister. Oh, what do we have here? So there's no ADS in this game, eh? Glue cannon. The Transtar glue cannon. Geliform lattice organism obstructor. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Press right trigger to fire your glue cannon. Press and hold right trigger to fire a continuous stream. Let's search this guy. Veer Singh. Suit repair kit. Okay, another medikit, that's nice, and glue canisters. Ammo. So I'm supposed to glue up these mimics. Am I supposed to glue up these mimics? Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. I wish this guy wouldn't talk to me when I have enemies around. Quite a bit of ammo. Yeah, I don't know if I should just encase all the mimics with, with the glue cannon and then just leave them be or just freeze them and then shatter them. Look at my objectives again. Break out, get to the main lobby. And then the court vanishes. Search for Bellamy's corpse and trauma center. Is it just me or is the text? Yeah, they do like a drop shadow behind the text. And it, I don't know. It's not good. For me, it just kind of makes it look blurry. It makes the text hard to read. I don't like that. So his corpse should be around here. This looks like the lobby. But let's just duck into this conference room. Pardon me, my, uh, something is really making my nose itch tonight. We have agave plant clippings. And a uh, transcribe. What is transcribe again? Oh, okay, it's a personal data assistant. Robert? Hey, Alice, thank God. No one else is. Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't. Jesus! 
You're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... Where the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Okay, who, who set the mimics loose anyway? A great mystery that I must solve. Oops. Oh, I just messed it up. Let's put back. <laughs> okay, never mind. Could always use the one point health boost. Oh, okay. There we go. I can, I can sprint, but everything feels kind of slow in this game. The combat is kind of sludgy feeling. Not not super responsive favorites wheel the favorites wheel allows you to quickly select and equip weapons and eventually psi powers hold y to open the favorites wheel and use left stick to select a weapon release y to equip a weapon you can also consume medkits and psi hypos from the favorites wheel Okay, so you can assign. Oh. Well, I didn't have anything selected. What did I just do? What was the uh, LB? Oh my goodness. I don't know what I just consumed. <laughs> the interface stinks. Is it just me or just, is this kind of awkward? Like it looks like it should be elegant, but it's actually not well done. Neuromods and abilities. The Neuromod is a revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press the menu button to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Okay, so I can uh, specialize in Scientist, engineer, and security. Use your knowledge of science, medicine, and specialized lab equipment to your advantage. Specialize in modifying your gear, repairing, and crushing problems with your wrench. Security. Boost your physical abilities, skill with firearms, and security tactics. I feel like I want to go with... A mix of scientists and security, maybe? Uh, what are my resources? Oh, I have one Neuromod, okay. So I can go Physician. Your knowledge of medical practice increases the effectiveness of medkits to 150%. Hacking. Bypass level one security measures, all computers and robotic systems. Hey, there's a, a computer I, I just passed by that I can hack. Or. Leverage. Lift heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. 
thrown objects will damage enemies. Repair. Fix broken ground shafts, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts. If survival mode is enabled, use spare parts to repair damaged weapons. And then we have security. There's only one skill open to us. Conditioning. Increase your health to 115 and your stamina to 105. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint 5% faster. I think I want to go hacking for now. Yep. Oh, jeez. Like went into my eyeball or, or Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now. Let's get you to the main lobby. Can I run away from Mimics? I could run away, I guess. Hacking minigame, of course. The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems, protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skill levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. To hack, use Lustic to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompt button to complete the hack. I hope I can try this multiple times. Alright, here it goes. I supposed to do? Oh. Oh, I see. You're just supposed to guide the Oh my god, I get hurt if I if I fail. Okay, uh, I'm I'm just scratching my nose furiously tonight. I don't know why it's so itchy. Uh, I think a separate save. Oh my goodness. Let's try it again. Oops. Well, that was a lot easier. Files. Let's read the emails first. Okay, a repeat. Igwe's talk. From Hadley Dalton to Caleb Hawthorne. Tell me about it. I don't know what scares me more at the time Dr. Wiggy spends in the lab or when he takes the sage. It's like listening to a metronome. From Caleb Hawthorne to Haley State Dalton. I joined you in the cafeteria, but Igwe's got a lecture scheduled. Here's hoping he gets right to the neuromod update so we can do a proper eval on the tech side. But you know Igwe, he'll go zener on us for an hour until we're all seeing circles and wavy lines. You'd think he would have learned Earthside to stay focused. Huntress Boltcaster. Fabrication plan for Huntress Boltcaster version 1.3. Change log. Noise reduction on trigger action. Still a bit too clacky for my tastes. Decrease weight while retaining structural stability. No more barrel splintering. Finalized name to the Huntress Boltcaster. Rejected Clive's suggestion of Pain Thrower and Franklin's Excruciator. Is it something I can craft, eh? Very nice. There wasn't anything else I needed to hack, right? Not here. Alright. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I need to repair a skill. So, skill recording room, locked. What's the, I, I got a prompt for something. Oh, empty briefcase. We still haven't found uh, Dr. Bellamy's body. to move some boxes, huh? Let me guess, the Mimic's gonna be in one of these stalls. green tea from the toilet. It's mine now. I do feel paranoid already because of the presence of uh, these mimics. Get my health back. Hey. It's good that you can crouch and be invisible to them, practically. Um, I couldn't find Dr. Bellamy's corpse. So I'll just go through the door, I guess. Oh, okay, so now we're going to the lobby. Got it. And here we are. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Um, do I get the answer? So look, look at this person's face. Ghastly. It's like, uh, what happens to all the victims from, uh, the movie Ring. The Ring or Ringu. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we got some bullets. That means we're gonna get a pistol soon. Very nice.
close one lobby. I could just heal to full strength standing beside the water fountain. Human resources. Hmm. Let's take the stairs. Yeah, I just clued in that we're in space. Tell us when it's open for you to explore. From the lobby, you can reach other parts of the space. Oh my goodness. I read faster. Access the video file in the, the lobby. So, I mean, the gist of it is that this is like a, a semi-open world. Feel free to explore. Gonna be elements of uh, Metrovania, I suppose. Locked off areas. They need to return to you once you get the right item or the right skills. Yada yada yada. I'm a thirsty boy. Oh, shotgun shells in a briefcase. Still a lab, but it's is it really on space? Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. That's fair. That's a fair time. Oh, shoot. Enemy here. Come on, share yourself. It's so slow. The the switching, the weapon switching is so slow. I'm dead. I don't know why there's just so much lag for simply switching weapons. A single mimic can quadruple itself after killing a human. Okay, they auto saved for me. Oh my goodness. Is he dead? Oh, he's still alive. This. Oh my god, switch. Oh, I stunned him enough to kill him. Yeah, the, the, the combat is really clunky in this game. Okay. So 
I need to learn this necropsy skill. Hey, it's JFK. How you doing? 2030-2025-1980-1990-1960-1963 A top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos I. 1964 after the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. It's a big jump in time from 1980 to 2025. Jeez. 2030. Talos One becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. 2020, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, for now all right <gasps> what was that oh I grabbed <laughs> I was canceling my my strike and I ended up picking up the Oh my goodness, this is a lot to read. A survivor's account of the evacuation day one. Day one, I dropped off my bag at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over very low and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I had not heard from I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run, run away from the stadium, run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an air airliner. It was not military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched it, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. What the heck? Okay, explosive canister, that's great. I guess I could chuck it at the uh, enemies. Hey, I got Neuromod. I should uh, spend it on something. That Neuromod is gone, only...
All right. Beef up my uh, toughness. Hmm. Well, should I just wait to collect one more point before investing in one of these security skills? Seems to put more value on the security skills. Well, no, that's not true. It's just easier to get started in the other trees. Okay, so. Are you serious? There's so many of them. Oh, he ran out of breath. I ran out of breath. Personally, um, this is different than playing your standard st stealth game where you kind of get a chance to assess any given, like, area to see what the threats are and then plan your approach. It, this one's strictly based on you being ambushed. Once in a while, you do get some advanced warning of what's coming. It seems like the the safest way to go about, you know, moving through the levels is to just sneak, like just crouch walk everywhere. But that's really slow and tedious. And I suppose until you get more combat proficiency, they kind of force you to just move more carefully and be afraid of running into the mimics. What I'm trying to say that right now the the flow is not great. Like the the, the gameplay feel is not very satisfying because I would rather like to know what I'm dealing with is I'm constantly being jumped by these mimics and the combat does not feel good as I mentioned already Let's top up with some cold mountain tea a decaying banana peel I wonder what purpose this serves and I'm running low on glue juice. There's a turret. So the um, this level is very quickly opened up into some interesting places. I think though I will call it here. I apologize for the uh, shorter episode, and uh, it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, not cohesive. I had a very itchy nose, and it's kind of late at night, and so maybe I'm not quite 100% there. But hopefully for the next episode, I will be more uh, with it. So let me do a quick save. And then that will be it for episode two. If you watch up to this point, Thank you very much.
please do all the great YouTube things. Like and subscribe if this has pleased you. And I love to read your comments, so uh, please leave a comment and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.